Hello friends, this is my YouTube channel called PowerPoint University. You can find more than 200 plus video tutorials which are absolutely free and I have provided the download link for each video in the video description section. And if you need any assistance or help, you can contact me through WhatsApp on this number. And as usual, I need your support to make my content free. You can donate any amount as you like, which will help me to make more free content. Thank you for your support. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an infographic tree in PowerPoint. This is how the slide works. It will show you seven different options with different colors and each one will have a icon and a text and here there is no background and it's just a plain slide so let's see how to create this slide in powerpoint add a new slide go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle make the height as 1.45 and width also 1.45 make it no outline and make it little bit curved and then using the alt and the right arrow key you can just rotate the shape something like this and press ctrl d to duplicate and add one more option here So two rectangles again press ctrl D I'm adding one more and again towards the right side I'm going to add three more rectangles and one each at the bottom so total I have got seven rectangles I have added here then each one you can give some different color so it's a tree so i'm going to use the color, color combination of a light and a dark green colors if you want you can add a gradient also Then go to insert again, shapes, select the oval shape, draw the oval shape at the center of the slide, press ctrl D to duplicate it and increase the size to 1.3 and change the color to a light gray without any borders bring it here and send this circle to back and make sure that this is center aligned properly select both the circles and align center and align middle and you can choose a different color here i'm going to use some a uh, brown make it no outline go to insert again shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle kind of a, a branch or a stem make the same color make it no outline and press ctrl d to duplicate it and i'm going to use to make some branches press ctrl d rotate the other side and place it the other side of the tree then go to insert shapes select a trapezoid and draw at the bottom center align and give some dark gray uh, brown color and here 
you can add the icons and the text so I'm just going to make one arrow just change the arrow type to rounded circle and increase the the size of the arrow header and make it gray color and attach it, attach it on the top then select the arrow again press ctrl D rotate it and bring it to the right again press ctrl D rotate the other side and put it towards the left and likewise you can add to the remaining leaves or options I am rotating using the alt key and the left or right arrow key if you want to rotate right use the alt right if you want to use to the left use the alt left arrow key then select the circles and bring this to front then I have downloaded the icons you can use the icons as well as you can add the text here so at the center you can enter your title here in the oval shape bring this to oval shape and this icons you can just add it to each option and then add the text reduce the size center align and make the text as a white text press ctrl D and add the text for the remaining options so all the text has been added now now it's time to add the animations go to animation enable the animation pane first select the main branch or tree and then use the wipe from bottom and then select the branches and this also use the same wipe effect but before that one select the circle and the text and group it and say zoom after previous then select the branches use the wipe effect this is also make it after previous and then select the icon the text and the rectangle group it one by one and then we will give the animation
Now let's give the animation. Now select the option, the first below options and then say vibe effect. Make it after previous. Then select the second level. This also make it wipe and the animation start after previous. Then the third level wipe. This also make it after previous and then the top one wipe after previous. Then the arrows you can do one by one. Select the arrow. Select all the arrows. If you cannot able to select, zoom in and you can select all the arrows. And just say wipe after previous. And then you have to make sure that it is coming from the right directions. The right arrow should come from the right side and the left arrow should come from the left side. So let's see how it looks. When I click, it will show you the title, then the tree option comes. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.